WKBN First News Network, home of the high school basketball starting five and best overall sports coverage in the Valley. This is the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week, sponsored by Stadium GM on My YTV. Inside the friendly confines of West Middlesex High School, it is the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Tonight, the Farrell Steelers and West Middlesex Big Reds do battle with first place in Region 2 on the line. Hi again, everybody. Chad Prispinski alongside Will Klusenick. Let's take a look at our keys to the game, which are brought to you by Avalon Downtown. First of all, practice patience. Farrell and West Middlesex will look to get good shots dictate shot selection. West Middlesex prefers to make Farrell shoot twos and protect the rock to really good defensive squads facing off. Sit back, relax, and enjoy some high school basketball on high school basketball's biggest stage. And the opening tip is controlled by the Big Reds, and we're underway here in western Pennsylvania on this Friday night. Backdoor cut off the glass and in for Ladovich. Ladovic gets the early bucket backdoor, then using that Steeler pressure against them. Excellent pass, finish, great possession to start. Ben King bounces it to Hilton. Back onto the wing, now back out front to Eric Hopson. Here's Hammonds from the free throw line. Knocks it down! What you like to see early on, Hopson using the double screen early, mid-range jumper. Deadlocked it to Casey Mild. The Big Reds point guard is defended there by Hobson. Mild pulls it back outside. Five seconds called. Turnover back to Farrell. And that was Hammond on the first Hammond's on the first bucket, excuse me, right there. But you like to see both teams getting the shot they want. And you can see that Steeler pressure getting that five-second call and the early turnover. Both teams 5-0 and in region two. Farrell nine and three. Coming in, West Middlesex 10 and 2 overall. Underneath, this is the big fella, Kai Wright. The pit football recruit spins and knocks it in and gives a big smile to the West Middlesex faithful. Big smile early, and you can see, Chad, why you're a Division One football player. Great footwork, great finish. Mild cut off at the baseline. He's trapped over to Ladovic. Ladovic, the West Middlesex leading scorer. He penetrates, kicks it into the corner on the bounce pass. Mild fights it up. It's too strong. Mild with a rebound. It's taken away by Wright. Out of bounds. Back to Farrell. Well, I'll tell you what, Chad. What's impressive early, you've got Kai Wright out there guarding a lot of different people. He's guarding guys in the post, guys on the wing, moving. You like to see that kind of footwork. Steelers with a basketball out front to Riante Hammonds. He raises up and knocks it down. Hammonds with another one using the elevator screen. Another mid-range jumper giving him four on the night. 6-2 is our score in favor of Farrell. West Middlesex with the ball. Zach Long scoops it up off the rim. No good. Rebound down to Eric Hobson of Farrell. Bobby Stewart, Steelers, go to work from the outside. That one up, no good. Look at Kai Wright. Great strength in traffic. He fights it up. That one won't go. Hilton up and in, plus the foul. Those are some big boys in there, Chad. Kai Wright getting active, keeping it going. And then the big fella, Hilton, finishes up. Look at Wright just going through, guys. Unable to capitalize, but you could see Hilton there ready to pick up the loose change to get the and one. Colby Hilton heading to the Mid-American Conference to play college football at Miami of Ohio. Wow. They're getting a good one. 9-2, Steelers roaring out of the gates and now some full court pressure. Long lob down the floor, Casey Mile draws contact and the foul. And he will shoot a pair. I'll tell you what, Chad. The offense initiates the contact there. That's great defense by Hilton. He goes straight up. The problem is he just doesn't move. That's an outstanding job by him. Again, vertical. Whew. He just couldn't get around the big guy. That's the first one on him. Casey Miles, second on the West Middlesex squad in scoring at 13.8 points per game as get a look at the Farrell boss, Bobby Stewart. Mild, the senior point guard, leading the team at assists at 3.3. A contest. 
He splits the pair, and it's a six-point Farrell Steeler lead. Hobson out front to Hammonds. Off the fingertips of Hilton, and it's out of bounds. And it'll go back to the Big Reds. This is a great crowd on hand here tonight. There is the head coach of West Middlesex, Chad Mild. And if it's anything like the JV game, there was a <laughs> lot of excitement at the end of that game. And you can tell both these teams in close proximity really want this one tonight. Wadovich, the Big Reds leading the scorer, penetrates into the paint. He raises up, shot blocked. Kai Wright comes up with the rejection. Great look, low block off the glass and in. Eric Hopson lays it off the window to make it an 11-3 game. The big man showing versatility, using and running the break, giving Hopson the finish. And with another one here. Hopson misses the dunk off the iron. Hopson cleans it up, shot blocked by Long, and the ball is out of bounds. It'll stay right here. Excellent hustle by Hammonds to get back into the play, not thinking make, gets the tap and keeps the ball Steelers' way. The ball is in to Hammonds. Riante Hammonds is defended there by Rocco Devano, who's checked in for West Middlesex. Hammonds over to King, Hammonds, and Hopson. Ben King raises up, no good. Kai Wright puts it up and walked with the basketball. Boy, he's not afraid of contact, is he? Boy, that, that, that's a lot of body in there. And I'll tell you what, I love how active he is, the footwork. He's probably expecting a little too much contact there. Shuffled the feet a little bit. But he's a nasty guy on the weak side boards. Tough to block out. Key part of that Farrell Steelers state championship football team. From the corner, three ball around, no. Long cleans it up, gathers, misses, rebounds, and Long in traffic. Bounces it out to Mile, who slices just inside that free throw line and put it in. And that's what West Middlesex is going to need to do. Create those extra opportunities and not let those threes happen. But you got the quick shot and West Middlesex get down the floor before they're able to set up. Jake Bowen penetrates off the glass, shot blocked. Tried to go window and boy, those big fellas up down underneath for Farrell. Doing a fantastic job with a timeout on the floor. 3.45 to play for the opening quarter. Six-point lead for Farrell on the WKBN High School Basketball. Game of the Week. Stadium GM is proud to sponsor the High School Basketball Game of the Week. Everything is new and exciting at the award-winning Stadium GM Superstore in Salem. Find new roads to the area's finest selection of Chevys and enjoy great lease deals like a new 2019 Trax for as low as $164 a month. And that's with zero down. Or drive away in a new 2019 Equinox for just $213 a month with zero down. Truck buyers, stop down and see over 100 of the all-new redesigned Chevy Silverado pickups and save big. Visit us on the web at stadiumgm.com or come down to the Stadium GM Superstore in Salem and save. Turn your house into a dream home with Pebblestone. Ugly concrete? Cover it with Pebblestone. Like a beautiful stone carpet, Pebblestone is easy to clean and covers broken or pitted concrete. Installed in one day in any weather condition. Transform your messy basement or garage into a gorgeous living space. Best of all, we do all the work. From moving your items, preparing and cleaning, to installation and organization. Call today for a free steel organizational system with your purchase of a Pebblestone floor. For luxury stone flooring that everyone can afford, trust the Valley Zone Pebblestone. Avalon Downtown Pizzeria proudly supports all Valley teams this high school basketball season. Come see us for the best pizza downtown off Federal Street in Youngstown. And welcome back to West Middlesex High School. Farrell 11, West Middlesex 5. Chad Krispinski will close with you. Eric Hopson just inside the three-point line misses, comes up with his own rebound, feeds it up front to Hammonds, who puts it up too strong. Tap up, tap in. Hopson. Nice with job. some hops. Yeah, with some hops. And Chad, just, again, just keep it alive, getting the taps, being the first off the floor. Bowen. Over to Ladovich. Scoops it up. It's short. Long with the rebound in traffic. And is able to work out of that mess underneath. And Long's been active on the boards, creating those extra possessions. Farrell gets the deflection, still West Middlesex ball. 
301 left in quarter number one. The lead is eight for the Steelers. Mild. Out to Latovic, who's cut off by Wright. And now it's Rocco Devano. Back to Mild. West Middlesex maintaining its composure. Trying to get something going on the offensive end. There's a takeaway by Hobson. Hobson, great feed, low block, lob underneath. Kai Wright in traffic. Walk for the ball again. Walk for that's probably one of those he probably should have kicked out. But you could see Hobson just the length that some of these guards have. You know, Hammonds, Hobson. Again, you don't want to be dribbling too much around him, but again, great defensively, getting the deflections and making it difficult to get into the offense. It's still an eight-point contest. Casey Mild is fouled on the shot attempt. And I think they just got Eric Hopson. And that is his first foul. And the second on the Steelers as a team. So, to the line, will step Mild. Team leader in steals with 18 on the year. And his free throw is up, and it is no good. As a free throw shooter, Mild connects on 74%. Second free throw. Good. 13-6. Four points for number four, Casey Mild. Hammonds calls out an offensive set. Whips it over to Hopson. This is King, now Hobson. As we hit the two-minute mark underneath Kai Wright, the big fella spins and fights it up and in. Getting the rock on. Little baby, he's a nice job in there, taking it up strong. Kai Wright with four. Luvano on the wing. Cut off by Wright. Wright seems to be everywhere the ball is. His footwork's unbelievable, Chad. Wow. Devano. Into the hands of Latovic, who raises up. A little bit too strong. Latovic with the offensive rebound. And he'll now pull it back out front. To Mild. The pace has slowed down just a hair, at least for the moment. Mild. Underneath. Ball is off his fingertips. As Jake Bowen tried to find him on the wing. And it's back to Farrell. Steelers still with a nine-point lead with 62 ticks left. Farrell doing it on both sides of the floor, offensively and defensively. Yeah, just the pressure, you know, and how they're able just to, to stay in front of the ball handler and, and contain. Hammonds. Now uh, into the hands. Elijah Harper, who's checked in. This is Hammonds again. 36 seconds and counting. Farrell couldn't have asked for a better start. You said it. To this Region 2 battle, first place on the line here this evening on High School Basketball's biggest stage. And Kyra Wright has been on the big stage before. He's had a Big part of the success of the Steelers. Elijah Harper looks back at head coach Bobby Stewart. Steelers will hold for the final shot. We're now inside of 10 seconds left. Here is Harper. Harper gives to Hammonds. Five seconds left. Hammonds whips it over to Harper. Harper gives to Hobson. Raising up off the rim. No good. And the first quarter in the books. 15-6 Farrell. Second quarter action is next on the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Good luck to all area teams from Stadium GN, proud sponsor of the Game of the Week. Nightline Embroidery and Screen Print in Girard has been a proud sponsor of the Player of the Game for over 10 years. For all of your personalized school or business apparel, event and business signs and posters, they've got you covered. There's only one place to go, Nightline, West Liberty Street, Girard. I think our instructors here at Eastern Gateway, being that they come from a medical assisting background, they know what's going on currently in the field. 
I think we also have a very personal touch with our students. We have a cooperative learning type of environment where students interact with us on a one-on-one -on -one basis. When the students graduate from the program, they can sit for a national certification and become a certified medical assistant that is recognized in all 50 states. Don't miss the Tri-County Home Show January 25th through 27th at the Metroplex. Over 100 exhibits of everything new for your home at great preseason prices. Wine tasting by Fitzgerald Saturday and Sunday proceeds to benefit the American Cancer Society. Antiques and collectibles appraised free by Dave Dangerfield Saturday and Sunday noon till 2. Free admission and free parking courtesy of A to Z Dependable Services. The Tri-County Home Show January 25th through 27th. 10 till 6 Friday and Saturday, 10 till 5 Sunday at the Metroplex on Belmont Avenue in Liberty. Whether you are married, single, or in a relationship, dealing with life, love, and relationships can be strenuous. That's where the Warriors, Inc. Love, Life, and Relationships Enrichment Seminar can help. Sign up today. You'll learn the essential tools to produce healthy, loving relationships. February 9th at the Holiday Inn in Boardman. Package includes a continental breakfast, seminar, a dinner and dance, and live entertainment. Register today online at eventbrite.com or call by January 26th to reserve your spot today. Cap your pen, Castle. There's been a murder. With a new case every time. I think I know who killed him. Look at you thinking like a real cop. It takes two minds to solve a crime. Castle. Saturdays at 10. Nightline Embroidery and Screen Print in Girard has been a proud sponsor of the Player of the Game for over 10 years. For all of your personalized school or business apparel, event and business signs and posters, they've got you covered. There's only one place to go. Nightline, West Liberty Street, Girard. Plenty to cheer about for the Farrell Steelers. In quarter number one, we enter quarter number two. Farrell 15, West Middlesex 6. Chad Prispinski, Will Klusinik back with you. Steelers open things up in quarter two with the basketball. Ben King. Bounce pass underneath. Hilton is fouled. And Hilton will go to the free throw line and shoot two. And both those guys, very big bodies. You got to make sure you're trying to defend those guys before they catch the ball. Once they get it down there, it's dinner time for those guys. Over the last three, Kobe Hilton, who stands 6-4, has been averaging 10 points, 10 boards a game. Great size and it's great feet as well. And I like his demeanor. He, he hasn't, his facial expression hasn't changed the entire game. Just a guy that goes about his business. Not too high, not too yep. low. It's players like that that help you win state championships. Yep. Look at Latovich. Couldn't get it to go in. Middlesex wanted a goaltend. Kai Wright nearly walked again. He feeds it to King for three. Got it. The assist. The big guy leading the break, making great decisions, finding the open teammate. 19 6 is our score. Mild out front to Latovich. Latovich raises up. It's a blocking foul called against Farrell at the 7 11 mark. You know, when you look at that, that's one of the hardest things to call where the offense initiates contact. Defensive players allowed to maintain their defensive integrity and position. Very difficult call there. So the free throw line will step Latovich. Scoring the leader for West Middlesex at 18 points a game, third in rebounding. Five and a half a contest. During this five game win streak for West Middlesex, Ladovich and Casey Mild have scored in double figures throughout that stretch. You're going to need that tonight. Ladovich had 30 against Cochranton. He has four at the moment. It's 19-8. Steeler basketball. Hobson gives to King. Here's Hilton. Underneath, Kai Wright lowered the shoulder. He's tied up. Hilton ends up with it and puts it in. Kai Wright first to the floor, able to scrape it out, get it to the teammate. Hilton would finish. Very physical play underneath by Hilton and Wright. Mild shot blocked. Here comes Farrell running the floor. Kai Right, puts it up off the rim, no good. Rebound, Hunter Smith. It ends up in the hands of Ladovich. Ladovich stops in the paint, feeds it to Mile for three. Back edge, no good. Hilton with a rebound. 
And Pelton just going to high point it two, two hands, grabs the ball. No one's getting it out of his hands. Hammonds up front. Gets it over to King for three. Got it! Just very simple. Get your feet set. Get yourself square. Pass on target from Hammonds. King knocks it down. 24-8 in favor of Farrell. Mild fadeaway shot up around. No good. And the rebound comes down to the Farrell Steelers. Lob to Kai Wright. Great feed underneath. Foul is called on Jake Bowen. It's one of the Farrell players who attempted that shot is down, and that would be Riante Hammonds who will shoot two. And I'll tell you, Chad, one of the things you notice, how close this wall is, you get any type of momentum coming this way, it gets tight pretty quick. Well, kind of close quarters here at West Middlesex High School. Not much of a baseline. Lots of cheer about there for those Farrell Steelers. Hammonds misses short. Hammonds averaging eight points, four boards, three assists this season. According to head coach Bobby Stewart, he's a prime example of putting in the hard work over the summertime and reaping the rewards when the season starts. You do a lot of the work. Then you develop your role in the offseason. You accept your role during the season. Conditioning, free throw shooting, all the rest. Is mild for three from the wing. It's up no good. Tapped up into the air. Controlled by Hilton. Stolen away by West Middlesex. Over to Devano. And West Middlesex will set something up. Hunter Smith triggers for three. Back edge no good. Ball tapped out of bounds. Back to Farrell at the 518 mark. Now, right now the Steelers do an outstanding job on the boards, you know, giving you know West Middlesex you know, one shot and out. You, know, you get those big guys down there rebounding, you know, the guards can float out and get something easy. Right. Trapped. There's a takeaway. Up the floor. Zach Long puts it up and in. And sometimes you gotta change it up to create a little opportunity for yourself. The press works. You get the quick two by Long. 25 10 is our score. Look at Hilton gliding to the rack. And that, sticking it in. That's a way to say it too. Just gliding, Chad. Again, just running down the floor, doing his business. Reach in foul called against the Farrell Steelers. And it'll be Eric Hopson, I believe. Say so the area's best basketball players are part of WKBN starting five. It's sponsored by Eastern Gateway Community College. Head to WKBN.com and click on sports to see the top high school basketball players from here in the Valley. This middle six has it. Rocco Devano for three. It's an air ball. Colby Hilton comes down with the rebound. We've got some good basketball players on the floor and some pretty good football players as well. And just great decision makers and making great reads. Brian Hilton sticks it in off the glass. And it's a 19-point Farrell Steelers lead. First two for Hilton. Chad, I've been really impressed here with these guys. Just, just doing all things fundamental, the easy things, easy decisions, making great looks, you know, great passes, finding their teammates. You know, getting on the floor, getting the extra possessions, all of those things that have built this lead up. Rocco Devano puts it up and gets the kind bounce. And West Middlesex are going to have to fight back, and they're going to try to trap a little bit, maybe to create some opportunities, but you can't open the floor too much. Hammett's pretty-looking shot, and he sticks the runner in to make it 31-12. He now has seven. And you got, you know, Hammond with seven. You know, Hilton with eight. King with six. And now Long sticks that one in for point number four. And it's 31-14 Farrell. High right. Skip pass to Hilton. And now Hammonds. 3.30 left until halftime. Hammonds. Underneath. Colby Hilton. A little bit short. Contact. Hilton cleans it up and sticks it in. And you've got Brian Hilton in there who created a little bit of chaos, able to get the deflection. And Kobe Hilton able to finish it off. 
33-14, long to the line, long to the lane, feeds it into the corner. Hunter Smith for three, no good. Hammonds comes down to the rebound, up the floor. Brian Hilton threw it down! But a travel is called, and with that time out on the floor, 2.55 left in the first half. 33-14, Farrell on the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Buy your next vehicle at Stadium GM in Salem, where Zero Down delivers every day. We are Venture Salem. We produce the fascias, trim elements, and interior plastic components used on millions of cars today. We are a great place to start building a career from the ground up as a light industrial laborer, robotics operator, team leader, and more. Begin your career with Venture Salem. Apply today at jobs.ventra.com. Venture Salem, where careers are built. Come ring in the new year with a new car from Sweeney. Sweeney is the best place to save with GM employee pricing for everyone. Lease the 19 GMC Terrain for just $125 a month. Or lease the 19 GMC Sierra Limited for just $178 a month. Your current lease can save you even more. And GM employee pricing for everyone at Sweeney. Click SweeneyCars.com or stop by Sweeney Chevrolet Buick GMC. On Market Street in Boardman. Sweeney. Welcome back, 33-14, Steelers leading the Big Reds. Every week we pick the player of the game. It's one player that has made the greatest impact during our game of the week. The player of the game is sponsored by Nightline Embroidery and Pebblestone Flooring. We'll feature the player of the game every Monday night at 6 on WKBN 27 First News. Out of the timeout, West Middlesex basketball, Ricky Latovich. Out of the wing to Devano, back to Latovich. Latovich cut off, spins out front, long, long, great strength through the contact, is fouled, and he'll go to the line and shoot two. So Zach Long will head to the stripe, second foul, by the way, on Colby Hilton, fifth on Farrell as a team, and Long bends the knees and flicks it up, he leads. West Middlesex in rebounding. Seven a contest. Also 7.7 .7 points per game. Back in for Farrell is Elijah Harper. And Hilton will get a well-deserved rest. You know, right now, if you're West Middlesex, he's got to just try to right the ship. The last couple possessions here, try to get a few stops and scores. And you know, maybe get a couple easy buckets. You know, to get a little bit of momentum going into the second half. 43-16 inside of two and a half left. There's that pressure. And it is a timeout called by Farrell head coach Bobby Stewart. Didn't want to risk a turnover or a steal. Well, there was a jump ball probably situation, and Farrell very lucky to get the timeout in that situation. So you got timeout on the floor. But you can see now, again, West Mexico, again, trying something to create some opportunities, you know, to maybe get some runouts and some outnumbered situations, maybe get Farrell to take a couple quick shots that, you know, they might be able to get a quick rebound and, like I said, just get a little bit of momentum. 33-16 is our score. Glad you're with us on this wintry Friday night, which is expected to get much more wintry into the weekend. Stay warm, stay safe, and keep it locked to WKBN. 27 First News in the WKBN app for all the weather updates. That is for sure. You'll need them. I don't have to check that till Tuesday. <laughs> Underneath, Kai Wright has it on the low block. Spins, fade away shot. He's got the touch, but it rolls off. The rebound down to Long. Now Devano into the hands of Mild for West Middlesex. We're inside of two minutes left in this first half of play. It has been all Farrell for the most part. In the first quarter and then some. From the wing, Latovich for three, no good. Cleaned up by Bowen, and he's fouled. And that's what you've got to do. You've got to get your shooters some shots in that situation. And Mild looking to dump it off to Latovich. 
Again, great look, great shot, unable to capitalize on it, but you could see the extra possessions. Bowden goes in there, the lefty gonna get some free throws now. Bowen puts it up. Winning shot blocker for West Middlesex. Also averaging a hair under nine points a game. And sometimes that's what you need. Just somebody's got to create those experts possessions for you. Just like that with Long. Long comes up with that. Rebound. Here's Ladovic. Ladovic double clutch off the glass and in. And that, the free throw box out. West Middlesex Long able to get it. And this is what West Middlesex needs. Just a couple possessions to feel a little bit better about yourself going into halftime. Vladovich with six. And it'd be outstanding if they can get this to a 10-point lead. That would be a win. Under 90 seconds left, it's 33-19, Steeler ball. Riante Hammonds has it to Harper. He's trapped. Over and back, there's another turnover. West Middlesex getting it done defensively. And that's what they had to do. They'll figure out a way to get uh, Farrell uncomfortable. And right now they are, and West Middlesex on one of these little mini runs. Like I said, if you can get this to 10, that's a pretty big win here for West Middlesex. 33-19, Lanovic. Picks up his dribble. Out to Mild. Lanovic spinning. Out to Mild. One dribble. Bounce pass long. Long, right hands it to Mild. Onto the right wing, Ladovic for three, he's got it! And I love seeing that, Ladovic, you find your shooter, you find your score, he gets the bucket, gets the three, can you get one more stop and have that momentum going in? Ladovic with nine, it's an 11-point Farrell lead. From the wing, three ball up and good! Answering right back, it's King! Dagger right there, Dagger. They had a great run, and King buries a big shot. 36-22, West Middlesex in all likelihood will hold for the final shot, but we'll see. Ladovic puts it up. It's no good. Cleaned up. No good. Ladovic in traffic is tied up. Jump ball called. It'll stay here with 8.3 seconds left in quarter number two. Extra possessions with the jump ball. 8.3 seconds. Gonna get your shooter a shot here. Devano is the trigger. Ladovitz for three. Off the rim, no good. Hopson, long lob down the floor. Hammonds loses the handle, and he's out of bounds with three tenths of a second left. Doesn't matter, can't get a shot up in that short period of time anyway, so our halftime score will be a 14-point lead for the Farrell Steelers. So we have reached halftime here. At West Middlesex High School, this has been an electric atmosphere and a well of a performance by Farrell in front of a jam-packed house. 36-22, Farrell leading West Middlesex. Our halftime festivities will commence when we come back. You're watching live coverage of the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Shop 24-7 at StadiumGM.com where you can view the entire inventory. You could win a 58-inch TV at Greenwoods in Cortland, and here's how. Take a qualified test drive this month during our Start Something New sales event, and you're automatically registered to win. Visit GreenwoodCortland.com to set an appointment, then come in to Greenwoods in Cortland. At the CMA Foundation, we believe every child should have the access and opportunity to participate in quality music programs. I'm Sarah Evans. Music has always been a huge part of my life. Music education isn't just important if you're going to make it your career. It also helps children develop the abilities that set them up for lifelong success. Music is transformative, and I want to ensure that it is never silenced. Learn more at itstartswithme.org. Snow Day, two words that make people feel different emotions. He can't contain his excitement, while Dad, on the other hand, is already late for work. 
No matter what your reaction, I'll be there working hard to keep your family safe. And I'll be pinpointing the winter weather as it moves into our communities in the evenings. 33 WYTV, your home for school closings and delays on TV, online, and on your phone. Sponsored by Dallas Hartman Attorneys at Law, Northern Ohio Honda Dealers, and Teal College. Hospice of the Valley invites you to a sweetheart of a Mardi Gras, February 9th at Mr. Anthony's. Don't miss the fun. Call 330-885-2430. You could win a 58-inch TV at Greenwoods in Cortland, and here's how. Take a qualified test drive this month during our Start Something New sales event, and you're automatically registered to win. Visit GreenwoodCortland.com to set an appointment, then come in to Greenwoods in Cortland. A terrific atmosphere here at West Middlesex High School. Farrell, however, has the lead at halftime over West Middlesex by a score of 36 to 22. Hi again, everybody. Chad Krispinski back alongside Wilk Lucinick. Let's take a look back at our keys to the game, which are brought to you by the Avalon downtown. Farrell was hoping to practice patience, get good shots, and mission accomplished there for the Steelers. Absolutely. They did a great job getting shots early, getting the ball inside, and making great decisions. And that also dictated the shot selection. Farrell got great shots early, and West Middlesex got great shots early also. Chad, just not able to make him, made him a little bit at the end, protect the rock. West Middlesex able to turn fell over at the end. We're going to see if that continues. These are two great teams. This one not over just yet, so don't give up just yet for the West Middlesex Big Reds, but can't say enough about what this Farrell group has done in the first half of play. We built a 14-point lead. Our keys to the game brought to you by the Avalon Downtown. Our halftime festivities continue after this on the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. The Game of the Week Coaches Interview is sponsored by Curbstone Coaches. You've heard the name, but who are the Curbstone Coaches? Organized by members of the local sports media, we work to preserve the memory of athletes who have brought distinction to the community since 1958. Curbstone Coaches, paying tribute to local athletes for 60 years. At Eastern Gateway Community College, what is unique about our instructors is that all of them are lawyers. They are all seasoned lawyers in the field. They all have very practical, real life experience. We can give you the perspective of what the employer is looking for, what the job requirements will be, and what level of professionalism and ethics we're going to call on. Avalon Downtown Pizzeria proudly supports all Valley teams this high school basketball season. Come see us for the best pizza downtown off Federal Street in Youngstown. Hi, Rob Bellman for Borman Subaru. We're excited about two new vehicles that have just arrived in our showroom. The 2019 Subaru Ascent, the biggest Subaru ever, with three rows of flexible seating with space for seven or eight, and the all-new 2019 Subaru Forester. New and improved with eyesight and driver-focused technology that alerts distracted drivers. And remember, Subaru is the most fuel-efficient all-wheel drive vehicle in America. Only at Borman Subaru, just south of Route 224 on South Avenue. Maybe it's the crust, the toppings, or even the sauce. What's the best pizza in our area? My Valley Dining wants to know. Pick your favorite place right now. Go to myvalleydining.com and vote. We'll pick a winner for each county. Check out the hundreds of great places to get a slice across the valley. Make sure your favorite is number one. Go to myvalleydining.com and vote today. You've heard the name, but who are the Curbstone Coaches? Organized by members of the local sports media, we work to preserve the memory of athletes who have brought distinction to the community since 1958. Curbstone Coaches, paying tribute to local athletes for 60 years. And we greet you tonight from the home of the West Middlesex Big Reds. At the moment, Big Reds needing a big rally, trailing Farrell by a score of 36 to 22. Hi again, everybody. Chad Krispinski alongside Wilk Lucinick. It's time for our halftime report. Our halftime report is brought to you by our friends at Valley STEM Academy. First half numbers look this way. Farrell on fire. Lots of high percentage shots, and the Steelers took advantage. And that's exactly right, Chad. When you get open shots, you get high percentage shots, you get transition buckets, you shoot 64%, and great looks from three, 75%. Big Red, pretty cold in that first half from the three. They're going to look to turn it around here in the second half. Yeah, they can get that shooting touch in a hurry. One of the major reasons why Farrell has built this lead, the big guy underneath, Kobe Hilton. 
Talk about crashing the boards. And the Miami of Ohio recruit cleans it up and sticks it off the glass with the RBI. Miscellaneous numbers look this way. Both teams crashing the boards. Both teams playing very physical basketball. That'll have to continue moving forward. But you're impressed by the assist numbers Absolutely. for the Steelers. And that shows you great shot selection, great unselfishness. And that's why they have this lead right now. Ricky Ladovich, one of the bright spots for West Middlesex. And he can heat up in a hurry, taking that feed. And he would nail it from the wing, splashing that one in. As we take a look at our leading scorers, Kobe Hilton with a dozen, Ladovich with nine. It all adds up to a 36-22 lead for Farrell over West Middlesex. Our halftime report brought to you by Valley STEM Academy. Well, of the third quarter next, Farrell up by 14 on the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Oh, so this is what your living room looks like. Watch Daybreak weekdays at 5 a.m. Morgan Furniture's year-end clearance has been extended. Get 40% off plus an extra 10% off your entire purchase. Buy with two years no interest or pay cash and get an extra discount. Only at Morgan Furniture and Mattress in Niles. Hi folks, Steve Bott from Mark Thomas Ford. We're kicking off 2019 and tell them how, Dave. Hi folks, Davey Jones from Mark Thomas Ford. Check out these great deals. Lease a Ford Echo Sport for $175 per month or a Ford F-150 for $225 per month. Davey, don't forget the new Fusion for $19,215 and, of course, the Mark Thomas Promise. So stop out and see us at Mark Thomas Ford. And see how low we can go. We're two miles north of Route 82 Bypass on Elmwood in Cortland, Ohio. And check us out on the web at markthomasford.com. STEM stands for science, technology, engineering, and math. So I'm the lead instructor. There's a math instructor, science, and English language arts instructor. With our project-based learning, they get together, solve this problem, and it involves all of our areas. This school is divided up into different blocks, and that allows us to have a lot of flexibility. They're learning from hands-on activities. All the equipment that's in the fab lab, I haven't seen a school yet that has all of this. You can't get away from the technology. At Valley STEM, the possibilities are really endless. Everything is new and exciting at the award-winning Stadium GM Superstore in Salem. Right now, you can save thousands because for a limited time, you can get 0% financing for up to 72 months and enjoy up to $2,000 in rebates on select Buick models or drive away in a great lease like a 2019 Buick Encore for just $189 a month and that's with zero down. Or how about a new Acadia as low as $279 a month with zero down? Visit us on the web at StadiumGM.com or come down to the Stadium GM Superstore in Salem and save. How I Met Your Mother has just what you've been craving. My God, some of these drinks could actually make a girl smarter. How I Met Your Mother. Weekdays at 4 on MyYTV. Morgan Furniture's year-end clearance has been extended. Get 40% off plus an extra 10% off your entire purchase. Buy with two years no interest or pay cash and get an extra discount. Only at Morgan Furniture and Mattress in Niles. Farrell with a 14-point lead as we're all set for the third quarter. Chad Krispinski, Will Klusenik with you on this Friday night. Glad you're with us in Western Pennsylvania. Steelers looking to add to that lead. Our leading scorer, Colby Hilton, feeding Kai Wright. Can't get it to go. Look at Hilton. So active underneath, crashing those boards. We'll get a chance to add to that point total here. And you can see excellent treetop to treetop pass from Hilton to Wright. And then Wright's not able to capitalize, but Hilton, very dangerous from the high poster, gets to the offensive glass, an opportunity to the foul line. Hilton rattles it up and rattles it in. And it's back to a 15-point Farrell lead, just 10 seconds in to period number three. Second free throw, a little bit too strong. Bowen with the rebound. Vladovic. Penetrates, slices across the paint, puts it up short, rebound to Farrell. Ben King does the duty down the floor, Hilton. Hilton gathers and sticks it in. I'll tell you what. And I think we have a delay of game problem. A warning for grabbing the ball after it went through. Chad, you know, just to make the catch there by the big fella, you know, Hilton, not only does he catch the ball, just has the presence to slow down, take his time. Again, just like Sarp, man, just smooth and just silky right there. Excellent job. Mild. Near steal by Hilton. Great quickness, great agility. 
Long into the corner. Hunter Smith for three. He's got it. And I think that's what they're going to have to do. West Middlesex going to have to start trading some threes for two. We know they can shoot the ball and knock it down. And there's one of them. 39-25 is our score. Hammonds over to King. They give it to Kai Wright. Eric pass out of bounds. Back to the Big Reds. What you like there, that's, that's the correct decision. Correct read. But not the correct pass, though. Like him looking for the teammate. And he, and he said it, too, right there. There's the teammate for that one's on me. 39-25 is our score. Big Reds looking for more. That won't help. Loose ball. And it is a timeout taken very alertly by Farrell. And that was Riante Hammonds, one of those leaders, alertly calling the timeout to help Farrell keep possession. And that's one of those only rules that I'd like. Unless someone has a clear possession, I'd like to see that change a little bit where kind of both guys got their hand on the ball. Maybe let one guy kind of maybe pull a little bit from the other or something. Uh, and sometimes that's just one of those where you get that one out. Tonight's high school basketball game of the week is being streamed live at WKBN.com and the WKBN mobile app. Make sure you do yourself a favor and download the WKBN app to watch our games all season long. And you'll also find all the high school scores, stories, highlights, and more. Download the WKBN mobile app today. Got a good one brewing here across the border in western Pennsylvania. Farrell and West Middlesex laying it all on the line in Region 2 with first place hanging in the balance. Hammonds scoops it up over everything. Tap won't go. Ends up in the hands of Hopson. That one was short. Ladovich with a rebound for West Middlesex. He's in trouble in the backcourt. Ladovich somehow manages it to Mild. Mild ahead to Long underneath. Bowen puts it up. Shot block. Ball out of bounds. A lot, lot of, lot of, lot of hand there. You know the thing is, West Middlesex got to focus here. There's a 14-point deficit. Their goal here by the end of the quarter is to cut this in half to seven. That's what they've got to say. That's what they've got to be thinking. Hammonds over to Hopson. Floater. That shot blocked. And Bowen, I believe it is, going to be called for the foul. That's the case. He says, I didn't get that foul called at the other end. He didn't get the other one, and he got a little bit of the body. And the developing thing there is, Chad, that's his fourth. Fourth foul against Jake Bowen. Hopson, good from the stripe. He now has five. 15. It's back to a 15-point advantage. You know what you always got to tell yourself as a player as a coach? You know, they're going to even out. Second free throw. Hits off the back edge of the rim. No good. Long with the rebound. He pushes it up the floor. Threads the needle. Off the glass and in. Nicely done by DeVano. Yeah, Vano, but heady play by Long. to thread the needle. Picture perfect pass. It's back to a 13-point contest. Riante Hammonds has it back around to the right side. Hammonds will take it baseline. And he puts it up and in. But it's an offensive foul. Wipe it away. And underneath the basket, West Middlesex gets the call. This lead to 13. Again, just one possession at a time. And you can see right here, coming right into your living room. Uh, probably a pretty good call. Second foul on Hammonds. It goes back to West Middlesex. A three here cuts it to 10, Will. Yep, and that's exactly what it, one possession at a time. You know, we talk about the, the, the calls are going to even out. You've you got to play through. Next possession, you got to get quality shots. Ladovich. Puts it up short. It's out of bounds. Back to Farrell. Ladovich is looking for a whistle. And Coach Chad Mahout just said one word to him. Finish. And those are the ones. You got to be the guy. You got to be able to finish on some of those. Again, that's a great take. Great look. Inside of five and a half to play. Third quarter. Hammonds is defended by Ladovich. Hammonds works it to the corner. It's King. Now Hammonds. And they give it to the big guy, Kai Wright. Doesn't waste any time. He puts it up short. And off the miss, Long comes down with another rebound. Near steal by Wright, but a little bit. Too much of a reach, and he's called for the personal. And that's only going to be his first. 
But like you said, Chad, you got 13 here. You hit a big three. You're going to feel pretty good about yourself. You've got that momentum. Again, you're still looking for quality looks. And you got to be able to crash the boards and get some extra possessions. Lanovic defended by Hammonds. Onto the wing. This is mild. Cut off in the paint. They feed it near side. Hunter Smith for three. And that's the same shot. That's an excellent screen by Devano. Oh, you got the dribble drive with the screen. Smith knocks it down. Six points for Hunter Smith. There's a takeaway. Devano to Lanovich. He puts it up and in. And they've got it to eight, Chad. Time out on the floor. We will keep it here with 4.33 left. 11 for Lanovich and West Middlesex. With plenty of life now. Long pass to the perimeter leads to the run out and the finish by Lanovich. You knew there was a run coming from the Big Reds. You just wondered when. And Lanovich just answered. You know, in any good teams, you know, you're going to shoot the ball poorly sometimes. But the, again, we talk about all the time the conscience. You've got to rebound, you've got to defend. You've got to be able to shoot free throws. You know, get some of those easy points in transition. You know, some of those high percentage shots. Again, the shots will start to fall for you. And you've got to be able to handle the ball and not turn it over. Again, all those things are a recipe that can keep you in the game. And when those shot, shots start falling, that's when you make your run. 40 to 32. At one point, if memory serves me correctly, it was a 19-point contest. Yep. And, and again, sometimes you, it's that cliche of just one possession at a time. You know, get a stop, get a score, get a stop, get a score. And I'll tell you, those couple possessions at halftime, we talked about really gave them some confidence, like, hey, we can get back in this game and we can do this. And like you said, Chad, it was a short halftime speech. Boy, it sure was. Ben King, back out front. Hopson raises up and knocks it down. It's a big shot. A big just shot. Just inside the three-point yeah, line. big shot and just smooth. In range, rhythm, squared up, knocked it down. Seven points for Hopson. Mild into the corner. They work it around along. He now penetrates in traffic. Off the glass and in. West Middlesex one really starting to get active, getting high quality shots. And right now, Steelers got to make sure that they follow suit here and get some of those good quality looks as well. Hopson out front. Hopson. Over to Kai Wright. Wright, great strength, puts it up. There's a whistle and a foul called. He will shoot two with 3.42 left to play here in quarter number three. And with that, we will take timeout. 42-34, Farrell with the lead, but the Big Reds making a run on the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Make the short drive to Stadium GM in Salem, Ohio to find your next vehicle. Nightline Embroidery and Screen Print in Girard has been a proud sponsor of the Player of the Game for over 10 years. For all of your personalized school or business apparel, event and business signs and posters, they've got you covered. There's only one place to go, Nightline, West Liberty Street, Girard. Come ring in the new year with a new car at Sweeney. You have to get here now to check out Sweeney's SUV lineup. It can't be beat. Lease the 19 Chevy Trax as low as $39 a month. No loyalty? No problem. Lease for just $98 a month. Or lease the 19 Chevy Equinox as low as $109 a month. No loyalty? Lease for just $129 a month. Click SweeneyCars.com or stop by Sweeney Chevrolet Buick GMC. On Market Street in Boardman. Sweet. Nightline Embroidery and Screen Print in Girard has been a proud sponsor of the Player of the Game for over 10 years. For all of your personalized school or business apparel, event and business signs and posters, they've got you covered. There's only one place to go, Nightline, West Liberty Street, Girard. That group from West Middlesex looking to make a run here midway through the third quarter. Kai Wright of Farrell has something to say about that as he gets the kind to bounce off the rim. The right was only five points, but definitely has made his presence felt in all areas, all aspects of the game tonight. Right good again from the stripe. 
And he now has six points, and it's back to a double-digit lead at 44-34. West Middlesex back up the floor. Here's Mild. Mild feeds it out to Hunter Smith for three. That one was short. Kai Wright with a rebound. Here comes Farrell pushing it again up the floor. Hops it behind the back. Some nifty ball skills. Out to King. And now Hammonds. Now Farrell looks at head coach Bobby Stewart to find out the offensive set. All right. He's up to set a screen. And here's Hammonds. Top side, hops in. Just inside that three-point line is offline. Ben King with the rebound, and the Steelers will set it up again. Kai Wright thought he was going to cut to the basket, thought better of it, and the pass sails out of bounds. Back to West Middlesex. I'll tell you, the other thing too, Chad, I'm watching Kai Wright just doing some of the little things. Great leader, great communication, you know, interaction with his teammates. But that's, you see in the intangibles. Vladovic, who's had a big ball game with 11 points. Back out front, he now spins into the paint, nearly walks. Vladovic, shot blocked, gains it back. Vladovic fought it up and in. Staying with it. Got to keep fighting, keep getting at it. Vladovic with 13 on a night. The senior trying to will his team back into this one. It's an eight-point contest. Hammonds hands it back to King. Bounce pass right. Kai Wright facing up, gathers, spins, off the glass and in. There's nothing you're going to do with that. Just patience, poise. Maybe pray. Yeah, that's about it because he got it inside there. That's a fantastic move. Ball out of bounds. Costly turnover for West Middlesex. Big Reds now trailing it by 10 inside of two minutes left. In quarter number three. I'll tell you what, we chat, we talked about it at about the 6.30 mark. Just cut it to seven. You don't got to cut the deficit here. You know, just cut it to seven, and you'll be in good shape. Ball is out of bounds. It'll go back to West Middlesex off Farrell. Because you've got a whole other quarter here. You can't panic. You don't think you're running. You don't have a minute 46 left in the game here. So, again, get a good quality shot, good possession. You're right back into this ball game. Lodovic up at the top of the key. Lanovich taking matters into his own hands. He puts it up and in. And you said it, Chad. That's exactly what he's doing. He's taking over. And what Coach Miles said is, let's finish. And he's doing that right now with 15 on a night. 46-38 is our score. Ball in the hands of Kai Wright. Wright stops and pops. Misses. Rebound. Lanovich. Doing it on both ends of the floor. Lanovich. Cut off. Tied up. Steal by Kai Wright. He gathers up the loose basketball, scoops it up, it won't go. Bodies flying every which way. Up and in, plus the foul. Riante Hammonds comes up big again. And that's a big reason why you've got to just keep playing and not worry about the contact. There was a lot of contact on, on both of those series. You can see the hack down and SWAT. Officials doesn't think there's anything there. Hammonds just keep going at it, keep grinding. That's what you've got to do. Just keep playing and be physical. Back into the ball game for Farrell is Brian Hilton, or at least he will check in at the next opportunity. You know, if you look at the scoreboard up there, Chad, you start looking at Hammond with nine, Kai Wright with eight, Hobson with seven, King with nine, you know, Kobe Hilton with 12, and now that gives Hammond seven. That's a tough team to defend, coach. You know, when you got those, every single guy that can score, very difficult, Chad. Inside the final minute, it's an 11-point lead for Farrell. Latovich, mild, skip pass. Latovich is fouled. Yep, he got him. Hobson got him. So the ball will belong to West Middlesex. Three team fouls on Farrell, four on West Middlesex, mild into the corner. Smith for three, short. Rebound tapped up into the air and controlled ahead of the pack. Kai Wright spinning, the whirling dervish off the glass and in, plus the foul. Right into your living room. Get a look at that. 
Big time play by a big time athlete. You can see the footwork, the skill, setting it up, spin, and the finish, Chad. Time for the old fashioned three point play. 10 points for Wright. He'll stay at 10. Misses short on the free throw attempt. And it is Lanovic. With the ball across the time stripe. Into the four court, Lanovic. 12 seconds left over to Mild. He work it along, spinning in the paint, and he flips it up and in. Farrell trying to get the last shot. However, Eric Hobson over to right. Wright raises up for three. Back edge, no good. Eight minutes to play here in West Middlesex. 51-40 Farrell of the WKBN High School Basketball Team of the Week. Stadium GM only uses certified technicians and genuine replacement parts. You could win a 58-inch TV at Greenwoods in Cortland, and here's how. Take a qualified test drive this month during our Start Something New sales event, and you're automatically registered to win. Visit GreenwoodCortland.com to set an appointment, then come in to Greenwoods in Cortland. Whether you are married, single, or in a relationship, dealing with life, love, and relationships can be strenuous. That's where the Warriors, Inc. Love, Life, and Relationships Enrichment Seminar can help. Sign up today. You'll learn the essential tools to produce healthy, loving relationships. February 9th at the Holiday Inn in Boardman. Package includes a continental breakfast, seminar, a dinner and dance, and live entertainment. Register today online at eventbrite.com or call by January 26th to reserve your spot today. Avalon Downtown Pizzeria proudly supports all Valley teams this high school basketball season. Come see us for the best pizza downtown off Federal Street in Youngstown. They make the community a better place. They give their time, their energy. It's their love for others that sets them apart. They're your hometown heroes. And at 33 WYTV, we want to honor those who stand out. Go to WYTV.com and click on Hometown Hero under the Community tab to enter a nomination. We'll introduce you to a new Hometown Hero every Wednesday at 6 on WYTV. Hometown Heroes, sponsored by Window World. As a mom, you're always wondering what your kids are getting into. That's why I'm so proud to be a part of WYTV's Keeping Kids Safe. It's helpful to know what my son can be exposed to online, in the neighborhood, or in school. Every Monday at 11, 33 News will focus on issues facing our children. Keeping kids safe. It's part of how 33 WYTV believes in this valley. Sponsored by Mahoning County Children's Services and Sweeney Chevrolet Buick GMC. You could win a 58-inch TV at Greenwoods in Cortland, and here's how. Take a qualified test drive this month during our Start Something New sales event, and you're automatically registered to win. Visit GreenwoodCortland.com to set an appointment, then come in to Greenwoods in Cortland. To play here at West Middlesex High School. 51-40, Steelers in yeah, command at the Farrell's moment. Farrell's had a lot to dance about tonight so far. Ball is in the hands of Kaz Huffman, who is wearing a different jersey number than on the roster that was sent to us. Makes, Makes a great difficult. folks here. It sure does. Mile for three. Knocks it down. They're going to need some of that here in this fourth quarter. Again, one possession at a time. Get some stops. Make it difficult. Making sure they're not getting any easy looks. 51-40 is our score. Eric Hobson raises up. It's no good. Rebound torn down by Ladovic. Ladovic racing up the floor. Ladovic stops, feeds it under the wing, and then the Big Reds pull it back out front. So right now you're sitting in an eight-point deficit with your West Middlesex. Want to make sure you get the high percentage shot and put it in the hands of your scorer. Ladovic knocks in another. He has 17. And it is 51-45. This one still hanging in the balance. You know, and, and Farrell went to the zone to stop him from penetrating. They got out of it that time, and he made him pay again. Colby Hilton back outside to Hopson. Hammonds raises up and knocks it down. Boy, is a sweet-looking stroke. There's that lefty again, that silky smooth lefty we always seem to find. 12 points for Riante Hammonds. And it's 53-45. Every time West Middlesex seems to make a little bit of a run, 
Farrell comes up with something like that. In the meantime, coming up after tonight's game, we'll have an opportunity to visit with our winning head coach. Our Game of the Week coaches interview is brought to you by our friends with the Curbstone Coaches. Chad Krispinski alongside Will Klusenick. Glad you're with us on this Friday night. This has been a very entertaining contest, and we'll be back with you next week for not one but two games. Stay tuned to WKBN.com and tune in Monday at 6 on WKBN. 27 First News. We'll let you know where we're headed for a pair of what we expect to be very good ball games. You know, as a coach, you're in the timeouts looking at that again, Chad, thinking, okay, we're down eight. You know, at the four-minute mark, can we get this to four? Again, you always start talking about, can we cut these in half? You know, and you get that to four at the four-minute mark, it's anybody's game. So now you start talking about, you know, each and every one of these possessions, handling the basketball, making great shots, making great decisions, and forcing Farrell to do difficult things, difficult shots, making difficult decisions. 6.29 left, West Middlesex basketball trailing by eight. Lanovic wants the ball, and he gets the ball. Yeah, flatten it out again. Lanovic stops, and he's fouled. He'll shoot two. And nothing better than going to the free throw line and having the clock stop. Hilton picks up his third. And they've been very effective of him going to the free throw line and get, getting good looks. And especially 78% free throw shooter is Lanovic. Good. 53-46 is our score. That's always a key when you've got a guy that can get to the rack and get fouled and make the free throws. Ready, aim, fire, good. 53-47, 19 points for Ricky Ladovich. That looked ugly in the first half, Chad, but we got a ball game now. We sure do. Hammonds bounces it to King. Loose ball, mild on the floor. And we have a whistle and a feral foul as the plot thickens here in West Middlesex. And I think they just got Ben King. That's his second. Five team fouls per side as we're two minutes in to this fourth quarter. And now you're going to look at Hoffman in the corner here. He's going to slide out. They're going to try to get another three from him in the corner and space it out. Vladovich. Looking for Hoffman, but it's knocked out of bounds by Kai Wright. And the great thing about that is when you've got Hoffman out there, he's starting to separate guys. You're going to look for that interior, some of those guys that are screening and shaping up to get a layup. Mild with the ball. They work it to Kaz Hoffman. Out front, Mild. Long in traffic. Long puts it up and won't go. Rebound torn down by Hobson. Taken away by Long. And Long is fouled. Yeah, that's it's an, an easy intentional one. foul. That's an easy one. You know, and I was going to say before that possession, Long, Long probably should have kicked that out to the corner to Hoffman. But how gritty is that to stick with it? Battle these two guys. Rip the ball from the Farrell player. Gets it. And you can see this is a hard foul. Hard yes, foul. it was. You're right. So to the free throw line will step Zach Long. His head snapped back after that major league collision. And Long misses the first one. Four fouls on Hilton. Long trying for his 11th point. And he misses the second one as well. Five twenty-six left. Big Reds basketball. Kaz Hoffman to trigger it in. There's a near steal. There is a steal. Hammonds puts it up. No good. Optimus. Mile with a rebound. Mild in traffic. Mild in trouble. And we have a timeout taken alertly by West Middlesex. Very Smart plays and timeouts called two, by both sides two tonight. Two heady plays right there by, yeah. by Long. Not only he tries to contest the layup, going outside in, doing it correctly, 
you know, forces a, a little tougher shot than they would on the break, sees his teammate in the trap and calls the timeout. Very alert by that young man. Say every week we'll pick the player of the game. It's one player that has made the greatest impact during our game of the week. Our player of the game is sponsored by Nightline Embroidery and Pebblestone Flooring. We'll feature the player of the game every Monday night at 6 on WKBN 27 First News. Chad Krispinski, Will Kalusinik back with you. This one has been as good as advertised. Two teams, 5-0 and in Region 2. Two teams that want to leave the gym here tonight with first place next to their name. They'll meet again in the regular season finale at Farrell on February 12th. See, coming out of the timeout here, what you dial up. Lanovich, the flare screen. Hoffman with the ball, lobbing underneath to Devano. Back to Hoffman, thought about the three, but it was defended well. Lanovich surveys the scene. Crosses over, Lanovic raises up and puts it in. He's putting his team on their back. Took through the slice of the defense. Finished for his 24th point of the night. Four-point ball game. Hammonds picks up his dribble. Over to right. Into the hands of Adrian Daniels, who has checked in. Right. Stops. Feeds it to Hobson for three. That one short. Rebound ripped down by Mild. West Middlesex on the move. This is Lanovich fighting it up. It won't go. And the rebound torn down by Farrell. Loose ball on the floor. And we have a timeout taken by West Middlesex. As boy, bodies flying every which way. And these two teams leaving it all on the hardwood. Lanovich for the outstanding take. Doesn't get the call. He does get chipped on the arm, but you could see West Middlesex you know, right here. A little too much dribbling from Farrell. They're first on the floor. You love seeing that. Devano on the deck, getting the 50-50 ball. 53-49. Boy, remember at one point, Farrell built a 19-point lead. But hats off to this West Middlesex yeah. team, yeah. one of the best in the area. In Boy, they have made this a contest, and it may very well come out on top. We shall see, but West Middlesex comes in with 10 wins, Farrell with nine. Good. You've got two winning programs here, Chad, and, and you knew West Middlesex wasn't going to lay dormant the entire game. Just had to find that shooting touch, did the Big Reds. Devano to trigger it in. Devano. Into Hoffman. Out front to Lanovic. And now Mild. You know, if you're watching Middlesex, you know, they're covering the corners pretty well. You got to look to go inside out. You know, get it in the long, let the defense collapse, and then kick it out to Hoffman or one of your shooters. But you've got to go in to go out. Mild. Into the corner, Hoffman, and we have a whistle and a foul called against Farrell. And with 3.43 left to play in the fourth quarter. We're in a bonus. We have a timeout. Four-point lead for Farrell. We'll have the exciting conclusion when we come back in the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Buy your next vehicle at Stadium GM in Salem, where Zero Down delivers every day. Everything is new and exciting at the award-winning Stadium GM Superstore in Salem. Find new roads to the area's finest selection of Chevys and enjoy great lease deals like a new 2019 Trax for as low as $164 a month. And that's with Zero Down. Or drive away in a new 2019 Equinox for just $213 a month with Zero Down. Truck buyers, stop down and see over 100 of the all-new redesigned Chevy Silverado pickups and save big. Visit us on the web at Stadium stadiumgm.com or come down to the Stadium GM Superstore in Salem and save.
Hospice of the Valley invites you to a sweetheart of a Mardi Gras, February 9th at Mr. Anthony's. Don't miss the fun. Call 330-885-2430. 33 left to play in this one. It has been a beauty. Farrell 53, West Middlesex 49. Free throw up, free throw off the back edge, no good. Free throws becoming even more important as we inch closer to all zeros. Griante Hammonds puts it up, it is short. Rebound, guess who? Latovich. Chance to cut into this four-point deficit for the Big Reds. It's long. Over to Mound for three. Back edge. No good. Loose ball tracked down by Long. Long into the paint. Outside. Latovich for three. That one no good. Loose ball out of bounds. Back to Farrell. That's a close one. I, I thought that one off Farrell. We get a peek at that one. I think from our vantage point, it looked like it was West Middlesex. Close call. Yeah. But these officials have done an outstanding yes, job have. here yes, tonight. Very physical game. I've caught it extremely well. Hammonds hands it over to King. Long range three. Air ball. Off the miss. Rocco Devano comes up with it. We're inside of three minutes left. Long will bring it across the time stripe. Here's Latovich. He's been the man of the hour with 21 points. Into the hands of Mild and West Middlesex will let some clock run now. And those are the shots that Farrell did not settle for in the first half. Lanovich over to Devano. You've got to go inside out. The middle's wide open. You've got to collapse this zone because they're stretching it out. You've got to get it to the interior somehow. Make the perimeter pass and go out. There it is. Long feeds Ladovic. He's cut off underneath. Great positioning. And he put it up and in. Outstanding job of making the design and Ladovic cutting. 53-51. The folks wearing red. Didn't have much to cheer about in the early going, but they're up on their feet now, saluting what this West Middlesex team has done here in the second half. You want to talk about a rally. Ricky Latovich leading his team right back into this one with 23 points. And it's now just a two-point Steeler advantage. It's really been an impressive night by West Middlesex. As hot and as impressive as Farrell has looked in the first half, West Middlesex just kept grinding, kept going, possession after possession. And Latovich, boy, has he been special in this second half. The area's best basketball players are all part of WKBN Starting Five. It is sponsored by Eastern Gateway Community College. Head to WKBN.com and click on Sports to see the top high school basketball players from here in the Valley. We're expecting some kind of ending here tonight. It's coming down to the wire again on high school basketball's biggest stage. Out of the timeout. Farrell will have it. Briante Hammonds has a dozen points. Ball is onto the wing to Brian Hilton. This is Eric Hopson. Loose ball, take away by West Middlesex. Big Reds with a chance to tie or take the lead with a three. Lanovich loses the handle, but it's tracked down by Zach Long. Kaz Hoffman for the lead. He knocked it down! Hoffman's been big in those corners. Knocks down his third triple of the night for their first lead with a minute 45 to go. 54-53, Kai Wright with the ball. Bounces it back to Riante Hammonds. Closing in on 90 seconds left. One point lead for West Middlesex. Hammonds cut off. Hammonds back outside to Hopson. 122 and counting. Hopson into the paint. Hopson draws the foul with a buck 18 remaining. Now normally they don't let you set those type of screens, but again, he gave the off defender enough room that one step. And Hopson does the rest using that screen. Eric Hopson with seven points. This for the tie. Good. 54-54 when this was a 19-point game. I don't think many people watching or many people here in attendance thought we'd be neck and neck, deadlocked 
inside the final two minutes. But that's why these two are two of the best teams in Region 2. Farrell back on top, courtesy of that free throw from Eric Thompson. But Ricky Ladovich now with another chance for West Middlesex. Up the floor, Ladovich loses his footing. And it is an offensive foul called. Ladovich just threw the ball. And it is an offensive foul. The first on Ladovich, that's surprising. Surprising is right. Here we go. Riante Hammonds up the floor. Farrell with a one-point lead. Hammonds as we hit the final minute. Kai Wright, the driving force. Cut off. Top side, Hobson. They don't need to score, Chad. They're going to have to play good, solid defense. And you're going to have these guys up here. Kai Wright puts it up and won't go. He hits the deck. And he's going to head to the free throw line. That is the third foul tag to Rocco Devano. On the night, Kai Wright, two for three from the stripe. His point total is 10. The lead for Farrell is one. Wright. Good. Pretty looking free throw <laughs> stroke for Kai Wright. Boy, we've been working too long together, Chad. You read my mind. I was thinking his accent. Boy, his hat's smooth. Cool, calm, collected. Kai Wright, second one. Follows the first one in. And it's a three-point game. 44 seconds left. Ladovich ahead of the pack. He's cut off at the free throw line. Over to Devano. Topside mild. 33 seconds left. Mild raises up and knocks it down. Long two, 57-56. Timeout West Middlesex with 28.1 left. Nine points for Mild, but that's a sweet looking shot as well. Just very calm, cool. Coach's kid collected, knocks down the 15 footer. Now you've got to play some D. You've got to ratchet it up in the full court, try to get a quick turnover. If you don't get the turnover, you're looking to foul, and you've gone through the scouting report. You know who to foul uh, at this point, sir. But you can stretch a lot of possessions out in this last 28.1 seconds. 57 56 these two teams come in with plenty of momentum and these two teams with first place on the line Steelers had won nine of ten entering tonight's action West Middlesex trying for a sixth straight victory something we'll have to give here tonight in region two you know anytime you have this type of situation you know, if, if you get the foul call and you don't have a timeout and coach is talking to him right here, you know, you're trying to get a quick turnover, you know, possibly a quick foul, but you're also trying to set that offensive shot up coming down at the other end, a screen in transition, you know, get the Hoffman side where you can kick a three to him on the penetration and pitch. Ball is into Hopson and now Hammonds. Hammonds slices through, Farrell breaks the press. Kai Wright is fouled with 20.4 seconds left. He looked very good at the free throw line his last trip. At the moment, Wright with a dozen. Being in a state final in football, I'm sure, has a little bit of pressure to it as well. Farrell on the football field barely challenged all season long. They were so dominant, so terrific. Kai Wright misses that free throw. Ball ricochets back out to Hoffman. 17 seconds left. Here's Ladovich. And we have a whistle and what? We have a foul on the floor. It's a one and one free throw shooting situation as Ladovich will step to the stripe. Farrell called for the reach in. And I think they just got Hammonds. Yep. And that is Hammonds third. So Ladovich will try to tie. One and one. Free throw shooting situation. Ladovich has 23 points. He'll need 25 if he will give West Middlesex the lead. Free throw up, no good. Hilton with a rebound. And we'll go back to the other end. 
as Hilton, who had such a masterful first half, will step to the line four for six. Well, a lot of it, he was he was four or five at that point and missed that one. So again, you got Hilton going to the line right now. I misspoke. Hilton's number's at the line. Yeah. As Hilton will step with a 57-56 lead. And Hilton is three for five from the stripe heading into this trip. Kobe Hilton puts it up and puts it off the back edge. We talk about free throws all the time, So Chad. crucial. One of the constants. Knock him down when the heat is on. Hilton trying to split the pair and give Farrell a two-point lead. Hilton up around, no good. Rebound, Kai Wright. And a foul is called on West Middlesex. Kai Wright said, there's not one person in this gym that is going to get that rebound but me. And if you look at it, there should have been two guys. One guy stepping up, one guy pinching down and double teaming that guy. And we're not going to get a chance at the box out. But that's just a man's rebound. Kai Wright bends the knees. Free throw good. It's 58 56. Five for seven from the line. 13 for Wright. A reigning WKBN Big 22 Pennsylvania Player of the Year on the football side. And the second free throw is up and good. It's 59 56. West Middlesex with nine seconds left. Casey Mild up the floor, and we have a whistle and a timeout taken. 6.1 seconds left. Well, you need a three. And you know Farrell's obviously going to try to protect that. Again, that's all of these situations, too, Chad. Do you foul and not let them get the three off? You know, and have them shoot free throws? You know, and, you know, let the clock run down and foul before he shoots it? You know, but if you're West Middlesex, you obviously got to run some type of misdirection, get one guy going the other way. You know, they used a flare screen before to get the opportunity for the three. So, again, a lot of different strategies depending on what you'd like to do as a coach. But if you're, you're West Middlesex, you've got to try to get this three off. You know, again, sometimes leaning into somebody, you know, and get the opportunity to get three free throws as well. Lanovich can hit from deep, as can number 12, Kaz Hoffman. It will be half Hoffman set to trigger it in. Mild is also out there along with Bowen and Zach Long. Kai Wright is out there along with Hammonds, Hobson, Kai Wright, Kobe Hilton, Brian Hilton. 6.1 seconds left. Here we go. Maybe get a stagger right across the foul line here. Kaz Hoffman triggers. It's into Mild. Mild gathers. Four seconds. Now three. Back to Mild. Firing three ball. It's an air ball. Rebound. Kai Wright. And the Farrell Steelers hold on for a 59-56 victory. What a game in Region 2. The Steelers take over the top spot. Our post-game festivities will begin when we come back. You're watching the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Stadium GM is proud to sponsor the High School Basketball Game of the Week. Nightline Embroidery and Screen Print in Girard has been a proud sponsor of the Player of the Game for over 10 years. For all of your personalized school or business apparel, event and business signs and posters, they've got you covered. If there's only one place to go, Nightline, West Liberty Street, Girard. Turn your house into a dream home with Pebblestone. Ugly concrete? Cover it with Pebblestone. Like a beautiful stone carpet, Pebblestone is easy to clean and covers broken or pitted concrete. Installed in one day in any weather condition. Transform your messy basement or garage into a gorgeous living space. Best of all, we do all the work. From moving your items, preparing and cleaning, to installation and organization. Call today for a free steel organizational system with your purchase of a Pebblestone floor. For luxury stone flooring that everyone can afford, trust the Valley's own Pebblestone. Hi, Rob Fellman for Borman Subaru. We're excited about two new vehicles that have just arrived in our showroom. The 2019 Subaru Ascent, the biggest Subaru ever, with three rows of flexible seating with space for seven or eight, and the all-new 2019 Subaru Forester. New and improved with eyesight and driver-focused technology that alerts distracted drivers. And remember, Subaru is the most fuel-efficient all-wheel drive vehicle in America. Only at Borman Subaru, just south of Route 224 on South Avenue. 
How I Met Your Mother has just what you've been craving. My God, some of these drinks could actually make a girl smarter. How I Met Your Mother. Weekdays at 4 on MyYTV. Nightline Embroidery and Screen Print in Girard has been a proud sponsor of the Player of the Game for over 10 years. For all of your personalized school or business apparel, event and business signs and posters, they've got you covered. There's only one place to go, Nightline, West Liberty Street, Girard. As a mom, you're always wondering what your kids are getting into. That's why I'm so proud to be a part of WYTV's Keeping Kids Safe. It's helpful to know what my son can be exposed to online, in the neighborhood, or in school. Every Monday at 11, 33 News will focus on issues facing our children. It's part of how 33 WYTV believes in this valley. Sponsored by Mahoning County Children's Services and Sweeney Chevrolet Buick GMC. And welcome back to West Middlesex High School where we just saw an absolute thriller. The Farrell Steelers coming out on top by three by a final score of 59 to 56. Hi again, everybody. Chad Perspinski, so pleased to be joined by our player of the game, Colby Hilton. 13 huge points down the stretch in this ball game. Our player of the game is brought to you by Nightline Embroidery and Pebble Stone Flooring. Congratulations on an outstanding ball game here tonight. Region 2 on display. The Farrell Steelers now right up in first place. What's that feel like? Man, it's very exciting. We've been working hard day and night. This is very exciting to get this dub. What was the difference down the stretch? You build a 19-point lead in that first half, and few people probably thought that we'd have a game that was tied or near tied at the end of the fourth quarter. What was the message in the huddle as you continued on through the ball game? First off, we uh, we came out very slow the second half. Um, yeah, we came out slow the, uh, the second half, but we brought it back. It's good to have the dub. Tell me about the physical play yourself and Kai, who had such an outstanding football season for both of you. Both of you are going to play football in the college ranks, but here you're making your mark and taking it very personally to have a great senior season on the hardwood. Tell me about how much fun you're having playing this season here for Farrell, fresh off that football state title. It's very exciting um, to be out here with my friends and whatever, but um, coaches always tell me you got to come out here and play and um, always be happy. Tell me how determined this group is now, knowing what's at stake. You're going to see these guys again later in the season, but how determined is this group with that Region 2 title hanging out there in the balance to make some noise as you approach tournament time? Um, we we think we could do something special like we did in football. All we got to do is go out there with that same mindset, dominate, get up on the boards and score. Congratulations on a great win, and best of luck the rest of the way. And all the best to you moving forward. Thank you. That's Colby Hilton, our player of the game, brought to you by Nightline Embroidery and Pebblestone Flooring. Farrell hangs on for a three-point victory, 59-56. We'll wrap it up when we come back in the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Good luck to all area teams from Stadium GN, proud sponsor of the Game of the Week. STEM stands for science, technology, engineering, and math. So I'm the lead instructor. There's a math instructor, science, and English language arts instructor. With our project-based learning, they get together, solve this problem, and it involves all of our areas. This school is divided up into different blocks, and that allows us to have a lot of flexibility. They're learning from hands-on activities. All the equipment that's in the fab lab, I haven't seen a school yet that has all of this. You can't get away from the technology. At Valley Sim, the possibilities are really endless. Don't miss the Tri-County Home Show January 25th through 27th at the Metroplex. Over 100 exhibits of everything new for your home at great preseason prices. Wine tasting by Fitzgerald Saturday and Sunday proceeds to benefit the American Cancer Society. Antiques and collectibles appraised free by Dave Dangerfield Saturday and Sunday noon till 2. Free admission and free parking courtesy of A to Z Dependable Services. The Tri-County Home Show January 25th through 27th. 10 till 6 Friday and Saturday, 10 till 5 Sunday at the Metroplex on Belmont Avenue in Liberty. Hi folks, Steve Bott from Mark Thomas Ford. We're kicking off 2019 and tell them how, Dave. Hi folks, Davey Jones from Mark Thomas Ford. Check out these great deals. Lease a Ford Echo Sport for $175 per month or a Ford F-150 for $225 per month. Davey, don't forget the new Fusion for $19,215 and of course the Mark Thomas Promise. So stop out and see us at Mark Thomas Ford. And see how low we can go. We're two miles north of Route 82 Bypass on Elmwood in Cortland, Ohio. And check us out on the web at markthomasford.com. Avalon Downtown Pizzeria proudly supports all Valley teams this high school basketball season. Come see us for the best pizza downtown off Federal Street in Youngstown. 
Maybe it's the crust, the toppings, or even the sauce. What's the best pizza in our area? My Valley Dining wants to know. Pick your favorite place right now. Go to myvalleydining.com and vote. We'll pick a winner for each county. Check out the hundreds of great places to get a slice across the valley. Make sure your favorite is number one. Go to myvalleydining.com and vote today. And welcome back to West Middlesex High School. Well, we just saw an absolute dandy on high school basketball's biggest stage. But it's Farrell coming away with a three-point victory over West Middlesex by a final score of 59 to 56. Hi again, everybody. Chad Krispinski back with you. We're hoping to catch up with Farrell head coach Bobby Stewart here in just a couple of moments. But following an emotional win, he's tied up with his team here at the moment. So with this victory, Farrell now improves to 10 and 3 overall, 6 and 0 in Region 2 play. West Middlesex, meanwhile, drops to 10 and 3 and 5 and 1 overall. We visited with our player of the game, Colby Hilton, a tremendous night, 13 points, including some big clutch free throws down the stretch. Can't say enough about what the big guy, Kai Wright, the pit recruit for football, did an outstanding job here tonight. And Kai Wright, so physical, so dominant, and Kai Wright certainly made his mark as we're getting Coach Bobby Stewart all set to join us here in just a moment. And Coach, will turn you back this way. And congratulations on an outstanding victory here tonight. What was the difference here down the stretch, Coach? Well, I, I thought the difference was uh, we was able to change defenses. They were basically taking us one-on-one. -on -one. They were in a situation where they were shooting fouls. So I figured if we just change up just a little bit and then eventually go back to our man-for-man -man when it got a little closer down the stretch. When you have physical players and very determined players, talented players like a Kai Wright, a Colby Hilton, among others, but those guys certainly bring that winning pedigree from the football field onto the basketball court, and when you needed some big plays and some big rebounds, those two guys answered the bell, didn't they? Absolutely. One of the main things we always talk about is the 50-50 ball, and I thought we did a very good job in getting the 50-50 ball that actually uh, led to our victory. First place was hanging in the balance as you came onto the floor here tonight in Region 2. You guys took over that top spot with another meeting left with these guys coming here at the end of the regular season. How does it feel to take that top spot, at least for the moment, uh, atop that region? Well, it's, it, it was really good because it, initially uh, we never got any respect uh, coming into the region. Uh, we were never named and being in the top uh, uh, team in the, in the region. Um, this victory here, I think, is just going to put us another uh, fight with them again uh, when they come back to our place, and eventually, hopefully, we see each other in the District 10 Championship. Coach, with how hard this group plays on a day-in and day-out basis, you've got to be proud about the effort that they bring to the floor every single time you head out there. Well, that is the big key. You know, we talk about energy and how you have to maximize your energy against your opposing team. And they had to do that because, I mean, you're coming into a hostile environment and our kids were still able to do the little things that was able to get us a victory. Coach, congratulations on a huge victory here tonight. All the best to you moving forward down the stretch in the season. Thank you, sir. That's the head coach of the Farrell Steelers, Bobby Stewart. Farrell with a three-point win, 59-56. Our coaches interview brought to you by our friends with the Curbstone Coaches. We'll wrap it up when we come back in the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Shop 24-7 at StadiumGM.com where you can view the entire inventory. Everything is new and exciting at the award-winning Stadium GM Superstore in Salem. Right now, you can save thousands because for a limited time, you can get 0% financing for up to 72 months and enjoy up to $2,000 in rebates on select Buick models or drive away in a great lease like a 2019 Buick Encore for just $189 a month, and that's with zero down. Or how about a new Acadia as low as $279 a month with zero down? Visit us on the web at StadiumGM.com or come down to the Stadium GM Superstore in Salem and save. We invited real viewers into our WYTV studio. I just love everything about the show. Asking them why they watch Daybreak every day. It's news that matters to me. As a thank you for coming in, we surprised them. They seem very genuine to me. And had a little fun with Jim Lowboy, Len Rome, and Christina Mullen. Fastest two hours you're ever going to find on TV. Don't let news in your community surprise you. Watch 33 WYTV Daybreak, weekday mornings from 5 to 7 a.m. Your mom said, comb your hair. Your dad told you, smarten up. Your dog is judging you right now. And your best friend called you crazy. We 
all need someone who will pull no punches and give it to us straight. Now, imagine getting your news like that. No bull, no spin. Just give it to me straight. Straightforward news. Straight to the heart of the story. ABC News. Straightforward. Sherlock Holmes? There's more to this than meets the eye. Elementary, Saturdays at 9 on MyYTV. On rules of engagement, comedy rules. Is there smoking allowed in here? Is someone smoking? You are. <laughs> rules of engagement. Weekdays at 5.30 on MyYTV. What a ball game it was here tonight at West Middlesex High School. Farrell coming away with a 59-56 victory over the Big Reds on their home floor. Hi again, everybody. Chad Perspinski back alongside Will Klusenik. And 19-point lead for Farrell in the first half. We thought, well, this one is going to yeah. be one of those nights. It was one of those nights, but not the way we thought. Exactly. You know, Farrell did everything right in that first half. Got a lot of great looks. Had a lot of assists. And got those high percentage shots, and West Middlesex didn't make theirs. However, whatever they said in the halftime at West Middlesex in that short intermission, they came out, played a totally different ball game, started knocking down some shots, and give them a lot of credit to fight back into this ball game and have a chance to win. Key players step up in key spots, yeah. and boy, we saw that tonight from both sides as we take a look at our final box score from this one, and we can show you that it was Farrell coming away with that three-point victory. Each night for Kobe Hilton, 13 points, three boards. Kai Wright with 14. Riante Hammonds with a dozen to lead the way for the Farrell Steelers. Ricky Ladovich took the Big Reds on his back, so to speak, in that second half. 23 points and five boards. Zach Long, a very gritty player with 10. And Casey Mild with nine. But again, Farrell coming up with the victory by a final score of 59 to 56. And boy, I'll tell you what, that sets the stage for that final regular season game between these two. Should be a lot of fun in the middle of February. Should be a lot of fun. And when you look at that at Farrell, going to be a tough game for West Middlesex. But I think they learned a lot from this game. And we talk about it all the time. Your objective, you learn from your mistakes, you learn what you did well, and you move on. Games like this certainly prepare you Absolutely. for tournament play. Farrell 10 and 3 overall, 6 and 0 in Region 2. Meanwhile, West Middlesex 10 and 3 overall as well, dropping to 5 and 1 in Region 2 play. For my broadcast partner, Will Klusenik, my name is Chad Perspinski, and for all of us at WKBN, thanks for joining us. Once again, the final score. Farrell 59, West Middlesex 56. We'll talk to you next week from the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week.